W510 which is the ethernet shield used for Arduino basically and uh, this now uh, separate module is available like instead of a shield this is available as a module and uh, like a breakout uh, which can be interfaced with any other um, microcontroller and uh, your hardware sh setup should be like this first that is Arduino communicates with ethernet uh, W5500 through SPA protocol and ethernet module will have a RJ45 connector uh, that is your uh, where you can connect your ethernet cable and then you will have to connect uh, that to your PC so uh, there is a ethernet cable between your PC and ethernet module and then as usual you have a USB cable which is uh, connecting your Arduino board and the PC and um, if this is the case for the person who is actually using a laptop because usually we have a, a problem of connecting um, ethernet cables as we might not have a router so in case you don't have a router no need to worry what you will have to do is connect your um, connect your uh, wi-fi to your pc so uh, you can see my uh, pc is connected to my mobile that is smartphone using a uh, hotspot and now we have uh, ethernet adapter here that is you can go get into control panel network and internet and network connection where you have ethernet uh, adapter and uh, one more one more is your wi-fi adapter that is also there so what you'll have to do is select both of them and then right click and then select bridge connection So once you bridge, you can see there is a network bridge which is being created now. So this will help you to uh, get internet from your PC so that uh, instead of uh, connecting to a router, you can directly connect the ethernet cable with um, your W5500 module. Now it is, it is identifying, you can see here. I have my ethernet adapter and the wi-fi adapter which is being uh, enabled and bridge and it says bridged and uh, we have a network bridge which is created uh, when we bridge ethernet and wi-fi and that has my realme uh, one that is my network uh, which is uh, the network from wi-fi so you should get like this uh, so that your internet is connected to say your network is connected and if you enable the hotspot on your internet, you will get internet access to the um, ethernet module. So if you don't get your uh, hotspot name here in network bridge, um, you can uh, try uh, switching off your, uh, disabling your Wi-Fi here in PC or you can switch off your hotspot and try. Or if uh, that doesn't work, you can reboot your system and try, uh, it will get connected and once uh, done uh, we can see here we have uh, ethernet 2.h we can get that from uh, sketch include library in Arduino id uh, click on manage library and uh, here in filter search you can type um, w5500 that is double five double zero uh, here you can see ethernet 2 uh, is installed so you will have to install this so once installed you can click ok and close and uh, you uh, you can open uh, from examples you can select examples then after you install you will get this uh, ethernet 2 where you can select web client we are just going to test uh, whether it gets connected with google.com and here you don't need to set up a static IP, here I am using a dynamic IP, so for examples uh, uh, you can go test this um, particular, here uh, this particular example that is DHCP address printer, so I am uh, just, um, that is to identify, that DHCP address finder is to just identify the IP and to check whether you can acquire a DHCP uh, 
you can get a dynamic ip and now uh, after that uh, you can uh, use this code i will give you this code in the video description uh, the, uh, i will give you the link for this code and you can download it and test and uh, if you want to use any other url you can uh, uh, if you want to post or get something you can use that url url and then um, uh, here we are just going to test whether it is getting connected with google server and uh, you can see that you have ethernet 2.h uh, ethernet dot h is used for w5100 and uh, you can upload the code here uh, i have already made uh, i have the hardware setup uh, as shown before and my audino is connected to comp21 and now i am going to upload the code now you can see my uh, code is uploaded here that is uh, done uploading after that you will have to open your uh, serial console you can wait for some time if we if the uh, module gets connected properly to the internet, uh, internet or the hotspot it will give you the ip here uh, let me bring this problem design uh, like uh, you can just uh, uncheck this uh, auto scroll and then you can see here IP has been acquired that is 192.168.43.146 that is from uh, my smartphone uh, it, it has acquired uh, my smartphone uh, has got connected to PC and through PC Ethernet module is getting uh, connected to uh, the network and um, my uh, smartphone is enabled with internet connection so my pc as well as my ethernet module is now getting internet so it is able to connect to google server and uh, from the google server we are getting 200 okay which, which means that it, this connection is successful so after that we are getting some uh, uh, response from google so if you want to post you can post and uh, use get method to acquire data or post something uh, that is for uh, measuring the sensor data and posting it or getting some uh, if you want to uh, get a status from your um, cloud you can use this so in this video i just wanted to show uh, how to connect the w double five double zero ethernet more breakout uh, to a audino and um, you can try this i'll give you the code in the video description as said before and uh, thank you thanks a lot we'll meet in another video